don't you worry, don't you cry, I can promise, it gets better in time, keep your head up, keep your shine, hold my hand up, it gets better in time. Hi guys, I'm Re. welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Hit the subscribe button because I know you're gonna wanna stay. You're just gonna get the whole family experience if you subscribe now. So just stick around, stick around. My channel really just follows the life of a regular girl doing regular people things. So if you're a regular person and you wanna see me do regular people things, we could do regular things together, then this is the page for you. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. So another day, another vlog. Your girl got back from Tampa yesterday. I touched down in the afternoon and I was beat. Okay, I ended up having to finish editing a video and then posting it But then YouTube was like, eh, no, we're gonna uh, take 24 hours to basically upload your video So it actually just went up this morning, which was the Tampa prep vlog So I'm already back right like I'm already back from my first Tampa trip But it's okay because I'm going right back. I'm getting on a plane. It's today's Tuesday I get on a plane on Friday. I'm going back to Florida because I'm crazy Also, we are not going to judge my appearance right now. I washed my hair last night because there was just like sand everywhere and i didn't end up styling it and i didn't put my extensions back in i also kind of wanted to see what my hair would look like if i just let it be now that i cut it and i mean it's like not bad but i don't have any products in it so maybe that's another thing too like it just looks kind of wild so we're gonna be putting our hair up today because i have some errands that i do need to run i ran errands this morning i had to grab obviously starbucks i need to put some ice in it because it's like melted. I went to the grocery store, I got some gas. So those are some minute errands that I had to run. I just wanted to pick up with things for like the next couple days for me being in the house. I didn't want to do like full on grocery shopping because I'm not going to be here. Um, So I just picked up a few things from Trader Joe's so we can do a Trader Joe's haul. But yeah, oh my God, Florida was such an amazing time. I'm literally so hyped to be going back. So I went with Jade, who was one of my friends from college. It was really just a trip for her and her boyfriend. She can go see her boyfriend, meet his family and friends and all those things. And like, I just one for moral support but i was so hyped to see my aunt and my cousin which is why i'm going back so i'm going back i'm going to go from friday to tuesday and i'm so freaking excited because well one i won't be third wheeling one and two i'll be able to catch up with them like i haven't been able to see them in such a long time like it was just so nice to be able to be with them so your girl's gonna be outside again this hair looks wild i literally left the house like this this is kind of crazy i'm probably gonna put it like maybe up in a puff or something because like it laid a little bit differently it was wet out of the shower last night and i just put some leave-in conditioner and then like just braided it so that it would dry a little bit so that I can figure out what I wanted to do with it. I kept the braids in and then this is what it looks like. So it's just kind of like, okay. Um, and then I just like twisted the ends. You can see some of the curls. Like I just twisted the ends with some um, mousse this morning. Cause I was like, this is ridiculous. This looks crazy, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get into a little Trader Joe's haul. And then I have a nail appointment today at one o'clock and I'm so excited because your girl messed up her toenail and it wasn't like, like anything major but it, it was enough to irritate me so immediately once I got off the flight I literally was like Mariah I need an appointment so I scheduled my appointment I'm getting my toes and my nails done again and I'm very excited I'm still trying to figure out what I want but yeah so let's just spend a couple days together I have to unpack do some laundry and then repack I ordered some stuff from Amazon and it won't get here until about tomorrow and Thursday so I'm really hoping that everything is here for Friday because like I fly out on Friday at 7 a.m. So like I just really hope that everything gets here in time. I also got some stuff from Florida, which I'll show you guys. You guys would have seen it if you watched the Tampa vlog. I got some perfumes. So maybe I will do like a little unboxing and we could talk about it because I told you I'm trying to get really well versed in perfumes and I had no idea, but I learned so much. So yeah, I'm just so excited to be back home because I'm tired. Traveling is so much fun, but it's also very, very tiring. Like I don't know what it is because like it's not like my flight was that long the flight from philly to florida was two hours what am i so tired for i have no idea but yeah so let's go ahead and do a little trader joe's haul and then we'll figure out where they take us i really mm, i feel like maybe i need a curly cut like i need it to be actually shaped because i'm not really vibing with that i don't really like it but um 
yeah, like it's, I almost feel like I need to do my hair right now. Whatever, let me put these groceries away first. So I got two things of Atlantic salmon. I went to Trader Joe's, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I got two things of boneless Norwegian farm raised fresh Atlantic salmon. I've been really craving salmon while I was on vacation. I did not eat it one time and I was like, who are you? Who is she? I got this, I think it's cruciferous. I think that's what it says. Y'all don't judge me, but it's Cruciferous Crunch Collection. It's like kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. It's like this little salad mix, so I got one of these. I got some pot stickers. I got the chicken ones, and I also got, these are chicken and vegetable dumplings. I also got pork ones, I think, too, because I love their pot stickers. They're really, really quick and easy, and I really just don't feel like cooking, cooking, you know, like being in between vacations, it's just like, uh, not really feeling it. But when I get back next Tuesday, that will be when I like do the whole big grocery haul, getting my life back together, getting back to my healthy-ish stuff again, because like, you know, when you're on vacation, you splurge a little bit, you know? I got some chives and some green tea matcha powder, some frozen spinach, two lemons, some roasted salted cashew pieces. They're the lower sodium ones. And then I also got this whole bunch of basil because I wanted to make the TikTok like green goddess salad dressing. I really like that dressing and it calls for basil and they didn't have any like in these little containers. They had like mint, dill, parsley, but they didn't have basil so I had to buy this whole thing. I like part of me likes the smell of basil, but like, Part of it's also overwhelming and smells just like grass. I don't know. So it's like nice. Like if you just get like a little whiff of it, but like, I don't know. All right, let me find the other, let me find the other bag. Okay. I've been really craving salmon. Like I said, so I was gonna make those salmon bowls. So I got these organic roasted teriyaki seaweed snacks, some baby mini cucumbers, shelled edamame. That's my lip gloss. Why is that in there? Trader Joe's finally had it. Whoa, had it? Trader Joe's finally had the non-dairy oat creamer, the brown sugar one. I've been trying to get my hands on this for months and I don't know why they don't sell it by the pint, but I literally, I got three of these. So just know, I'm gonna put y'all on cause I've been hearing really, really great things about it and I've just been really wanting to try them. These are the pork pot stickers. I got some of my favorite power crunch bars. I just, I'm going back to them because I just love them so much. Like they're just, no other protein bar really can compare. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got this Norikomi Furikake, Japanese multi-purpose seasoning, I guess. I'm gonna put it on top of the um, salmon bowl that I'm gonna make later. It just has white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, uh, nori, which is black seaweed, salt, and kelp powder. Ooh, it looks so fancy. I'll let you know how it is. I also got this asparagus saute and it comes with red onions and mushrooms, so I'll probably have that on the side of salmon. And then also some onion salt. And finally, two bags of cauliflower gnocchi. I also bought this chomp, but I ate it in the car because I was starving. But I got the chomps in the jalapeno flavor. It's a jalapeno beef stick and I like them because they're low in calories and they have nine grams of protein per stick, which is nice. And you know, I'm already struggling, you know, like your girl just trying to get it together, but it's just like not working. Realistically, I was going to make a, like what I eat in a day or what I eat in a few days of my life, like in between now and when I go back to Florida, but I was like, mm. I'm not really, not that I'm not tracking cause I am, but I'm just like being lazy right now. So when I come back from vacation, that's when I'm like gonna jump back into my what I eat in a week. And then pretty soon I'm gonna have to go back to my meal preps because I am gonna start teaching again. I don't wanna, wanna go back. But yeah, so that is kind of how that's going. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. And then I think I'm gonna edit for a little bit because I need the, I need to finish the Tampa vlog. It's crazy how like, you're gonna see this, but my Tampa vlog hasn't even been, it hasn't even been edited yet. I just posted a few days in my life, like my Tampa trip prep like video yesterday. It's just like so chaotic. I just got like 15 videos that I need to edit. So I need to like do that now before I get on this plane on Friday so that I can just get like my life together. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then I'll edit for a little bit and then we're gonna be on our way to getting our nails done because it's time. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go to the nail salon. I just um, woke up from a Nap, like a literal 30 minute nap. Um, and then I just tied my hair up in this little bun really, or like little puff really quick because I just wasn't feeling it. I'm still not feeling it, but it's better than what it was. So I'm getting ready to get on the road because it's gonna take me about 15 to 20 minutes to get there. And I literally need to be there in like 20 minutes. So this is the look, this is the hair. I feel like from the side, 
side it's really cute i had to like tuck a few pieces because it was like kind of long um but it's not cute from the side i just you know when you just wear your hair for a certain way for like the longest time you're used to how your face looks with that kind of hair now i've got my curls and i love curls curls are beautiful but like there's no product there's no definition i just recently cut it so it's like doesn't really look like how I remember. And yeah, so I don't know, this is the look for now. I kept these two little pieces down in the front because they didn't seem to be looking too bad. Also, my curl texture in the front is a little bit different because I do have some heat damage from my leave out. So I left them out. They seem to, to hold a little bit better and not be as frizzy. So this is the hair and then here's my little fit for the day. I just can't commit to real clothes. So I have this gym top from Amazon these shorts from Amazon also, and then I'm just putting on some sandals. Okay, but now we need to go before Mariah will be mad at me because I'm late, so let's go ahead and get to it. we have new claws new nails so cute i actually did not think i was going to get this design today i let mariah choose and she chose right the original design had the design in white but we went with pink because my toes are pink and then your girl was you know acting out so i got some swarovski crystals on them and they're adorable wow who do i think i am so it's about 3 40. i'm gonna run home right now i think when i get in the house i'm going to edit a little bit more maybe make some dinner and then i'm gonna go to the gym later on tonight i also need to unpack because i need to do laundry so i can repack and then i also got an amazon package delivered and i really hope it's still there by the time i get back i don't know why they didn't just drop it off in my house like the delivery instructions say to but i'm gonna let that be great so i'm gonna go ahead home and do that and i'll talk to you guys sorry my mom called oh it's like really bright in here because of the sun so we have to make this quick but it is the next day i am on my way currently i'm going home to wilkesbury to go spend the day with my mommy because i miss her and i feel like if i don't go home nobody's gonna come out here and visit me so if i want to see them i have to go out there to see them which is cool i'm not complaining because you know your girl has a big girl job has big girl money has a car and is able to get herself there so it's really no biggie but we are getting ready to get on the road now i'm really excited because i haven't seen my mom in a a little bit and I feel bad because I should go home a lot more often but it's just like that drive is just not it also I just got hit with a ton of easy pass fees I was like why is it not? I thought it was coming out of my account automatically. I just never check. I thought I was like set up to auto pay, guess not. So now I just had to pay that whole entire fee before they sent it to collections. And I was like, oh my goodness gracious. So yes, we're on our way home. I don't know what we're getting into today. I definitely need to finish editing my Tampa vlog because it needs to go up this Friday. I just feel so bad because you guys are not gonna get any food content for another week or so because I haven't been home long enough to actually cook anything. This morning I had my first like home cooked meal Meal and it was a salad I just made the salmon like on my own so like I, I didn't record it because like it was literally not worth filming so that content is coming soon I have a couple of things coming up I'm also really excited about this little like faith talk session that I'm gonna have tomorrow night today is August 3rd Tomorrow is August 4th, which is the first day of my little faith talk challenge. And I'm really excited because I don't really know. I can't really call it a Bible study because I've never myself held a Bible study. I've only been to Bible study a couple of times like in my adult life. But I think it's just going to be like a safe space for everybody to just come and chat and talk about their faith journey, things that they're struggling with. And then we can pray together. One thing that I'm really trying to get stronger in is praying, but also getting well versed in scripture. Those are two main things because I feel like I can pray and I have conversations with God every single day, but it's like literally like me and the lord like hello lord it's me again like 
please let Jonathan McReynolds be my husband. Like, it's not that, but like we're having a conversation like that. You know what I mean? Whereas like when you go to churches and you hear people praying, it's like, how do you know what to say? Like, how does everything you say sound so good? Everything sounds so like embellished and beautiful. And you have all these beautiful terminology. And it's just like, I want to be that girl. I want to get to that level. So that's something that I'm really, really trying to work on. So hopefully this is a good thing to do. I'm really very, very nervous because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about their faith journey. And I'm going to be very, very honest. Like I, I'm flawed. <laughs> my heart is flawed. I don't always make the best decisions. I acknowledge that and I repent of my sins. But like one thing that I really struggle with is like going back to God whenever I mess up. And then also not looking at repentance as just saying, Lord, I'm sorry. Like repentance actually comes from my actions. Like what am I doing to actually change the behavior so those are some things that I'm working on and this was not supposed to be here in this vlog but I just thought I would share that because it's really been on my mind and on my heart I've been doing Bible study these last couple of days spending this is day three of my August challenge and I'm just feeling so knowledgeable and so encouraged and motivated to stay in the word now it's only day three who knows like it might be a struggle for me to stick with it but i am praying to god that i stick with this challenge because i just feel so much better like every day i wake up i just feel like wow the lord is really really with me so i'm going to get on the road right now i'm trying to fight the feminine urge to go get starbucks because i absolutely do not need it but i do want it so we're gonna see if i can take another route so that i don't see starbucks so that i don't buy it because i don't need it i need to stop spending money since i'm getting Getting ready to get back on another flight and be gone for five days again so it's just like whatever so yeah so that is the moves right now that's the 411 that's the t and i'll see you guys when i get home to looks you don't want to say nothing okay you want me to talk to, you want, you want me to, talk to the people oh my gosh <laughs> say hi mom hi. oh my gosh hi y'all so we are we are at the movie theater what are we saying maverick Tuck whatever that is. So we're going to see that movie. What time is the movie start? 6.15. 6.15, so we're having some mother-daughter time. How do you feel? Good. Tell these people why you don't ever come to Philly to see me. Go ahead. I'll do better. Mm-hmm. All of them, but the boycott the whole family. It's crazy out here in these streets. Good, and I live in the streets. Well, then you should move. Yeah, not back here though. Okay. Keegan, when I talked to Keegan today, he said, I said, wow, it's like, if I don't come home, I will never see you guys. And he goes, well, maybe you should just move back here where everyone else is. <laughs> Cause then and nobody told you to move. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we can get out of the car. But yeah, so we're gonna go see a movie. Um, I'll let you guys know how it is. I'll just give you a little rating so I don't do a little spoiler. Um, and then after that, what are we doing? Going home? Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to the gym because I still have to work out and finish a vlog so I could go up on Friday. So, and then I gotta do some Bible study so I can prepare for tomorrow's Zoom faith talk chat, whatever. So that's the moves right now. You wanna say anything else? No. All right, well, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. In the arcade at the movies, they used to have Dance Dance Revolution and now they don't have it. I was about to whoop Karen's tail. Man, sickening. It's the next day. I'm back in Philly, as you can already tell. Last night I went to go see Top Gun Maverick with my mom and the movie was impeccable. I didn't see the first Top Gun, but I was obsessed with this movie. It was a 10 out of 10. So if you needed a movie recommendation, this is the one for you. Top Gun Maverick was phenomenal. Tom Cruise is extremely gifted. Like that's all I can say. He's literally amazing. But there's a lot of stuff going on around me right now. It looks like utter chaos because I'm trying to pack because I leave tomorrow for my second trip. I just got back from the gym, which is why I look crazy. Also, I have a pimple patch on. I don't know if you guys can see it. In person, it really does blend in, but like you can kind of see it here on camera. The pimple is definitely healing, but I just wanted like some extra help to like get rid of it so that when I wake up tomorrow morning, I just look flawless. But I just went to Target and I figured might as well just do a little mini Target haul for some last minute things. 
kind of. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't need half this stuff for my trip, but we got it anyway. But there is a real reason why I went to Target today. So I have been using the Native Body Wash in the flavor, not flavor, in the scent tie-dye vanilla cupcake. And I had this dream the other day that it was all sold out because I believe it's a limited edition, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's a limited edition. So I obviously had to go today and I got not just one, not two or three. The level of shame is crazy, but I got five because I didn't want to run out. Okay, listen, you smell like a snack and I want to smell like a snack. So I got five bottles of it. Now, is this a little unnecessary? My girl, I'm going to give her a shout out because she's the realest, Alicia. She's like my good sis. She just asked if I was doing the Faith Talk Zoom session tonight and I am and I'm so excited, but literally my house is in shambles right now and I'm also in shambles and it's like 4.30, it's 4.17. I still need to get in the shower. I still need to do my makeup and at some point tonight I need to wash my hair and put my extensions in. But anyway, besides the point. Um, So was this completely unnecessary? No, because if it sells out, I'm going to be really, really upset. So this should last me a little bit. It just smells like sugar cookie and I just love that for me. I also got a twin pack of deodorant, some Nespresso pods in the blonde roast. I love these. Some lash glue because I lost mine in Florida and I need some for tomorrow. And then also some hair ties because I had absolutely none in the house. Like how do you just not have hair ties in the house. I don't know, but now I have a ton. And then this was not necessary, but my cycle is supposed, to, is supposed to be here in about 12 days, but I'm already feeling PMS symptoms, which means that it's probably gonna get here in like three days. But this was one of the cravings that I had, so I bought this instead. Also, I haven't really been cooking in my house because I haven't really been home since I'm like traveling and stuff. So like cereal is for dinner tonight and that is just what it's gonna be. Maybe I'll put like a vanilla protein shake in as my milk, I don't know. But yeah, this, is dinner tonight. So I also got some stuff from Amazon that I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, but I do kind of need to get my life together if I'm gonna do this Zoom call tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready, have some cereal, and then I'll probably talk to you guys after the Zoom call because I'm really, really excited, but I'm also really nervous because I've never hosted anything like this. I mean, aside from being a teacher on Zoom, it's kind of giving me PTSD in that sense. But I, um, I just wanna hear where everyone's at on their faith journey. Like, I just feel like a lot of people don't talk about it and I wanna talk about it and I wanna create a safe space for individuals who love God to come and share their struggles, share their journey, share their testimonies. And so, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be getting into right now. I need to clean my house. I also need to pack because guess who's not packed? Mm -hmm. Me. I have a full night ahead of me. I still have to wash my hair. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's gonna take me forever. And yeah, so let me go ahead and get my life together and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I'm literally setting up right now for my Zoom call. Hold on. And I am stress like big stress why i have no idea sorry i can like see myself here and then also my like zoom monitor here because i'm just like trying to make sure that everything is gonna go okay but y'all i'm so stressed because today's is the first one so i guess this would be the day we kind of figure out you know what the expectation is here i am not a pastor youth pastor professional nobody your girl is just trying to live for the lord and it's just it's hard, right? And so I feel like there are other people who are more seasoned than me um, who should probably be hosting something like this, but I'm not here to do a Bible study per se. I'm gonna share how I do my Bible study. And I've gotten a few questions on my YouTube channel if I could also show you guys how I do Bible study. And I will, I promise you I will. Not this thing behind me. This was on the wall when I moved in. It was like a scratch. And then there's also this one right here. It was like this little brush. I don't know what it is, but they're just so ugly. Nothing behind me, it's ruining the shot. Anyway, so I will do a video on how I do my Bible study. I've been like learning bits and pieces as I go, but our goals are going to be a little bit different because my goal really is to get stronger in prayer and also get stronger in my knowledge of scripture. And I'll share like why that is. And it's really like kind of a weird story, but like, just let me be great. But I really just want this to be, I just want this to be a safe space for people who are like me, who are trying to lead the right life, like walk in their purpose, live for God, and just like come and chat about the struggles and everything like that. Because I feel like I've been talking about about my faith journey, but I haven't really opened up about like what I struggle with. And this is an introductory meeting, so I don't know if I'll get fully into that, but I just feel like it's important that we have these conversations and that people know that they're not the only ones going through it because they're not. And I'm learning so much that it's something that needs to be talked about. I already started writing out all of the questions that you guys have for a Q&A that you guys wanted me to do. So if you guys have any more questions, I you have time to throw them in, but that's one of the things that I'm going to address because people always want to know like, what's my story? What's my testimony? And really, realistically speaking, I have a lot 
lot of testimonies, <laughs> especially being that I just made it this far in life. There are so many things that God has done for me. So I don't just have one testimony. Just know that I am striving to lead a life that is pleasing to him every single day. And that I want to be used and continue to be used by him as a vessel to spread his light, to spread his word, to spread his love. And it doesn't always look as together. Like you don't look like those mega church pastors that have it all together, that always have the right things to say, right? This is not a sermon. This is everyday life. And so I can sit here and I can preach to you and say whatever I want. But if my life doesn't reflect that, then what's the point, right? Because everything's like null and void. Like, girl, you can say whatever you want, right? You can get up in here, talk the best game of your life. But if you literally do the exact opposite, you live a life that is the exact opposite of the way God intended you to live, pointless. So yeah, so I'm so nervous. I also have so much stuff on my island right now because I have all my toiletries up here and the stuff from Target over here and then my computer and my Bible and like my prayer journal and everything is here so I have like no room. I also broke my other ring light so it's like here but it's like leaning on the table because I broke one of the legs. I just like hate that for me. Yes I am crazy for not being packed or prepared for this trip. I wasn't like 100% sure if I was gonna go. Like I already purchased my ticket but then I was like do you really actually need to go a second time and the answer is yes. I need to get away because once school comes I'm gonna be too tired to do anything. My schedule is gonna be booked now because I'm gonna be teaching from like seven to four. And so there's that. But I figured in the meantime, and I'll give you guys like another like five minutes and then I'm going to like start just like reading through some stuff and just like writing some things down and being in prayer before we jump onto this call. But I can show you some of the stuff that I got from Amazon and your girl is excited. Okay, so first we'll start with these earrings. Um, they came in a pack actually. I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box, I promise. I always forget, but I already wrote down a note that it, everything that I mentioned in this video needs to go into the description box. So I got these, they came in a pack, which I'll show you, 17 mile fashion jewelry. I got them, like I said, all from Amazon. And it came in a pack of one, two, three, four, five, and this is six, so six pairs. I like these ones because I have like a little seashell ring that matches this. So here are these cute little ones here. Maybe I'll like insert, I'll actually insert pictures so you can kind of see them. These are like small gold hoops here. These are kind of cute, they're like squares, super cute. These are a chunkier um, hoop and they're like medium size and they're like open, they don't connect all the way. Oh, I like these ones. They're like half moons with the same shell, with the same shell pattern. I like them. And also not them coming with two hair ties. Where was this when I needed it? Because I had no hair ties in my house. Also, let me just share this. I've gotten three Amazon deliveries, right? And I was stressed out because yesterday I went home to go visit my mom and I didn't realize that they were gonna be delivering yesterday. They deliver them to my door. I put in my delivery instructions, you know, use the keypad. This is the code. I even put a bright yellow note on the door saying Amazon, please respect my delivery instructions, use the code, put them in front of my door and then lock the door. Like I'm not understanding. They didn't do that. But luckily when I got back to Philly this morning, they were there. They were literally at my front door. So the guy upstairs when he came home, he must've just put them in front of my door, which is great. Love that for me. But I was irritated because I'm like, not as sitting out like all day. I live in not the greatest neighborhood, you know, whatever. But I usually do have some neighbors that will just grab my packages for me. I just didn't see them yesterday. And then today I got my third package and there's a garbage can outside that like the previous tenant left here. So like me and the guy upstairs would just like put our trash in there just to like get it out of the house. But they put my box in there and it had just rained. So there was like garbage water on the box. When I tell you I was livid, livid. But this was like the Lord really giving me an opportunity to be patient because I always pray for patience. And I always think like in my mind that he's going to just give me patience, but realistically he's going to give me opportunities to practice patience. So I was so heated. So I had to like, dig it from out of the garbage can. It was like half wet, so I had to run inside, grab some gloves. I wouldn't even bring the box in. So I like cut it open, took all my things out. Luckily, nothing got damaged. And I like came into the house, brought into the house, and like I got my stuff, but it was just like so irritating because it's like, why, Lord? Why? I gave you a note. Does, maybe this is how God feels with me. Like this is probably how God be looking at me. Like it's frustrating, isn't it? When you don't listen, when I'm telling you to do something, I'm asking you to do this and you don't listen. Like I think that's probably how God thinks about me, so. I guess I have to show other people some grace because God's grace has been good to me. But anyway, enough of that. Okay, the next thing I got is this bangle. I think this is, no, let me start with this bangle. First of all, let's talk about the cute little pouch it came in, okay? It's from the company Barzell, but this is the cup, babe. Let me see if I can like get it to focus. 
I'll, I'll definitely insert pictures of it so you can see it, but it has the most beautiful like crystals on it. Oh my goodness gracious, I love it so much. It's going right in my suitcase to wear for this trip because I'm actually going out there so that my cousin can help me get some content in terms of like pictures and stuff because I really struggle with taking my own pictures and she knows all the cute places to get pictures in Florida. So that's why I'm going back. I mean, obviously to spend time with her too because like I love them and I don't get to see them that often, but that's another reason why we're going. And then I also got another one of these necklaces here this one um i noticed that on like the back side so like the front of it looks okay but the back side is starting to tarnish a little bit and i've had it for quite some time i've had it for like four or five months the problem is is that i started working out in this and like that's why it's starting to tarnish just a little bit so i just got another one and then i got this other bracelet i think it's a it's a bangle also you shouldn't use your teeth, but I don't see my scissors and I don't feel like getting up. So yeah. So the one that I currently have on is gold, but it has like, um, it has gems on it. Look at my little scar. Um, gems and it has like this little like cross detail on it. But this one just has the little gems and they, it's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. And then I got some more stuff, but I'll show you guys that later because it's 531 and I kind of just want to go ahead and just like pray a little bit because in 29 minutes, I'm gonna be on the Zoom call and I'm so stressed. I don't know why I'm stressed because I just feel like we're family here, right? Like nobody can judge me but God. So like, what am I so stressed out about, right? You know. But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe I will see if like the people who are on the call are cool with me like recording them so they could say hey, so like you can see them. Um, but I'm just ah, just so excited. Like, what is my life right now? Like, not me about to get up here and talk to people about like my faith journey. This is this is a new level of vulnerability for me. Okay, but I just know that God's gonna have His way. So I'm just really praying that God shows up and shows out today because like. I think a lot of people need it. I think a lot of people need this. So, all right, I'm done talking your ear off. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm cracking up. Y'all say hi. Ah, oh, look at the baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, I just finished our first week of like faith chit chat, little Bible study session. And y'all, I just met the greatest group of people ever. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't even know why I was sweating. Like I'm still sweating, but like, God really showed up and showed out. It was just so nice to be in community with people who also go through the daily struggle of, you know, being attacked by spiritual warfare and just hearing about other people's journeys and where they are currently and why they fell off or, you know, if they're just starting. Like, it's just so nice to see everybody in different seasons of their faith journey. And it's just like, I think we're gonna extend it. We're gonna extend it and do it every Thursday and not just every Thursday of August. I think I'm just gonna continue it because I feel like there's a real need for it. And it's just a safe space to come and talk about what's been working for you, what's not been working for you, if you need any help. I learned so much tonight. Like it just truly blessed my spirit. Not this pimple patch, just like showing up like this, being disrespectful. Ugh. But anyways, so I cannot believe that I'm about to pack this suitcase again. I barely unpacked it from the last time. So essentially everything that I didn't wear in the first trip is going is gonna stay in here oops it's gonna stay in here i'm gonna take it because i didn't wear it i'm gonna repeat some outfits because they didn't see me in it and i'm an outfit repeater and i'm unashamed i do just want to get content like uh pictures and some of the outfits that you might have seen in the last vlog but that's okay listen it's called a washer machine i washed it i promise i'm not trying to be dirty or anything i washed the clothes but now i'm just going to pack because i leave in less than i leave in less than 12 hours so i need to get this packed and ready to go i did my toiletries already so toiletries are done it is time to pack this suitcase. I'm literally just throwing a bunch of stuff in this bag. Like, I just do not care. I have to find a more flattering angle. I'm going from Friday to Tuesday. So my plane leaves at five tomorrow, or maybe I have to be there at five and it leaves at seven. It's one of the two, but I actually have to bring workout clothes now. Since I'll be there during the week, I need to work out while I'm there because the grind never stops. Do you guys roll your clothes when you when you pack? I don't know. I don't know why I roll them, but I think you can get more in here if you if you do roll them, you know? That's just that's just what I think. That might not be true. I might have made that up. But you know, you got to throw in a few oversized t-shirts because that's really all I wear. I can't be bothered with real clothes. It just doesn't work for me. I still have to wash my hair cuz I'm going to try and keep my hair straight while I'm on this trip. So I need to get I need to get a move on because I don't want to be up all night. It's already 7 30. i'm just 
I'm just literally so happy to have been able to be on that, that Zoom call. If you guys wanna join that call, you guys can call into the link. I'll start putting the link in all of my descriptions, like in all the description boxes for my the rest of my videos so that you guys can see where it's at. Every Thursday at six o'clock, we're gonna do them. I just think it's a really good way to keep each other accountable and just talk about our struggles and just like pray for one another. It's definitely something that like I knew I needed, but I didn't realize it until today when I got on the call and just like saw everyone and how it need other people are of that si of that type of community. I'm feeling really great right now. I have this really bad feeling that I'm gonna get my period and I'm gonna be so irritated. So I need to go find some granny panties <laughs> in my drawer because just in case, like mother nature be playing in my face. I hate that for me because I don't do anything to deserve that. My girl, why are you so happy to see me? Am I overpacking? Yes, yes I am. It's better to be prepared than to be underprepared because one thing about your girl, she gonna do an outfit change. She gonna do one. This floor is not comfortable. Like, oh my God. I feel like my bones are getting old. I, I done told y'all, I don't get old, my bones get old. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm gonna get back up. Like I can already feel the circulation of my leg going. Like my the leg is starting to feel numb. I also wanna show you guys the other stuff that I got from Amazon. I got these sunglasses, cause I broke my last pair cause they got caught on the curls. Oh, I, I don't know if you can see. Oh, they're cute. I'm gonna leave them in this. Oh, they're very cute. I like those. I'm not really big on sunglasses. Like I feel like I've only ever owned like one pair of sunglasses my entire life, like real ones. But I feel like I should start getting into them. Like how I'm trying to get into perfumes, I should start trying to get into sunglasses, shoes, purses. Cause I'm not that girl. Naturally, I'm not that girl. I really don't care. I reordered this ring because I left the other one at my mom's house, but it's the same shell ring that I ordered before that you saw and it matched is the shell of the earring. Oh, I, I knew I got another ring. I got another ring. It kind of reminds me of one of the cuffs that I got. How freaking cute. I don't know. It never like wants to focus. It's cute though. Definitely cute. I like it a lot. Fits nice. It's a little big. I could fit it on all of my fingers. That's how you know it's big. Then I need to do those dishes back there. Oh my God, I can't believe that you guys see my dirty kitchen. I'm going to do the dishes and then I'm gonna wash my hair cause I wash my hair in the sink and not the shower because my hair always clogs up the bathtub. I don't know if that's weird or not. I mean, I clean it afterwards, but like, yeah. All right, so that's the move right now. I'm just gonna clean up really quick and then I'm gonna wash my hair and then I'll come back on camera and we'll, we'll chat. Okay, so I finally finished my hair. I put my extensions back in cause Miss Girl, the haircut just wasn't doing it for me. I need to put my scarf on because like, I have all these little flyaways, but I'm so tired. I have to be up around 3.30, 3.30? Yeah, I have to be up around 3.30 because my Lyft driver is gonna get here around 4.45 and I wanna just have enough time to get myself together, put my makeup on and just like not rush. So I'm gonna probably get up around 3.15, 3.30. 30, so I need to go to sleep now. I just need to figure out what I'm wearing to the airport tomorrow. That is that is the big question. I don't really know what I should wear, but honestly, they should just be grateful that I'm putting on clothes. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog off here because tomorrow we're gonna start a new couple days in my life, but Florida edition. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.